I'll install an old workbox into an opening in drywall. I'm in the process of running new cables with ground wire in a 1952 home. In a previous video, I cut out the box that was in this location. If you want to see that video or the replacing cable videos, click on the channel name, then on the playlist tab, and look for the title, Rewire an Old House Series. In most cases, it's easy to install an old work box. The box is inserted into the opening in the drywall, then two old work box supports are slid beside each side of the box. The straps are bent around the sides of the box and it squeezes the edges of the support in the plaster ears between the drywall and the box and clamps the box to the drywall. Due to poor installation of the drywall and the construction of the home, this installation is a bit of a challenge. This installation has a seam in the drywall parallel to the top of the plaster ear. The drywall behind the back of the box looks something like this. The problem is, is that the drywall is offset at the seam. This piece at the top of the plaster ear is three quarters of an inch thick. And then this piece along the sides of the box is only a half an inch thick. There's cinder block behind the box. It's been hollowed out to allow the box to fit in a cavity. The drywall is mounted on furring strips and there's about an inch and a quarter gap between the back of the drywall and the front of the block. The new box was slightly deeper than the original box. I used a chisel to make the cavity a little larger to allow the new deeper box to fit in the cavity. While removing the original box, the thin drywall around the edges crumbled, leaving a larger opening, but not too large to be covered by the plate. The biggest problem was that the drywall crumbled away behind the plaster ear. The top of the box can't clamp onto the drywall. Using silicone, I tacked a piece of wood behind the plaster ear. To make the piece of wood flush with the wall, I added a shim. I thought I had the problem solved and would be able to use box supports. This was still too spongy. If installed this way, I think that over time, pushing and pulling plugs in and out of the outlet will likely cause the box to work itself loose. I could spray non-expanding foam into the center block cavity, gluing the box in place. That would likely cause frustration for anyone trying to remove the box in the future. A friendlier option would be to mount the box to the block wall with some tap cons. I'll go with a box that uses a different type of fastener. I'll use silicone to tack a block of wood in this location. Then I'll use a pair of wedges to take up any space between the block of wood and the back of the drywall. For additional support on the sides of the opening, I'll silicone strips of wood on the back of the drywall at this location and at this location. When this screw is turned, it compresses this piece of metal and it folds to form a wing along the back of the drywall. I've made about a 50-50 mix of plaster of Paris and all-purpose joint compound to patch the top of the opening and when that dries I'll install the new box. The opening for this type of fastener needs to be wider than the opening needed for box supports. Dry fit the box in the opening. The plaster ears should be flat on the wall surface. You should not be able to rock the box. Ensure that the box is level. While pushing the box into the opening, 
turn one of the fastener screws until resistance is met. Then turn the other fastener screw until resistance is met on that side. Then use small increments turning the screws alternating from side to side until the box is firmly held in place. The fasteners have a lot of leverage. Do not over tighten them. I'll fill in around the edges of the box with the joint compound plaster of Paris mix. When using an old work box, don't forget to break off the tabs of the device that you'll be installing. If the box is mounted on an outside wall, for additional insulation, add a gasket behind the cover plate. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.